Hey there, everybody. Welcome into the studios here once again, talking Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia for the 22-23 race. We're down the stretch run here, just a couple months left before we crown the winner at Lake Hartwell for the Boat U.S. Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Bass Pro Shops. In today's video, we're going to talk about dark horse candidates, teams inside the top 25 that might be able to crack the top 10, the top five, maybe the top three, or even have a shot at threatening Montevallo there at the top spot at season's end. I want to talk about something real quick before we break down each of the schools I want to highlight that are dark horse candidates and making those deep runs. Triple points is what's going to be on the line at Lake Hartwell for the ACA championship at the end of the season. That final event of the year, triple points is what a team can earn. So you got a shot at earning points for your three highest finishing teams in the standings. First place is going to be awarded 2,500 points. So mathematically, if you're within about 7,000 points of first place entering that final event, you got a shot. If first place zeroes, has, has, not to say it's happened before, but there's always a chance if somebody up there at the top stumbles, 7,000 points is that buffer that if you're back in the standings and you do the best that you can, you can move up. So with that in mind, taking a look at teams with a realistic shot at jumping inside the top 10 by the end of that championship there at Lake Hartwell. I want to highlight two of them. They're, they've been neck and neck all year. I know that they probably have a little running competition amongst themselves as they're both in the junior college, community college ranks. Catawba Valley Community College and Wabash Valley College. They're going to qualify to send the most amount of teams possible. If you're inside this top 25, you can send four to, that, to the Boat U.S. Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Bass Pro Shops. Catawba started the year off with a big win over in Florida. Those guys are looking at making a big run. We'll hear from them real quick as they talk about what that victory meant and what they're hoping to accomplish at season's end. Yeah, you know, that was actually our, our goal this year is try to move into the top 10. And obviously when we got six at Dardanelle, that helped us tremendously, but this should help us even more. And I think now that we actually, you know, we showed that we can compete on this level, it just helps our guys, you know, with their confidence. They're going to go into <clears throat> every tournament now thinking, you know, we actually have a good shot and they're going to put their all for it and that's really going to help us. I think that if we can just keep some momentum rolling and end in the top 10, uh, that's kind of what we've been shooting for all along is to make, you know, get ourselves in the top 10. And uh, I think we're on the track to do it right now. So hopefully we should, hopefully we have some good events uh, before then and leading up and hopefully that's what we do. And the other team we mentioned that's got a shot at cracking the top 10, Wabash Valley College. I want to mention they're both within about, taking a look, they're within that six to 7,000 point range of 10th place. Um, actually about 4,000 to be exact. So they've got a realistic opportunity that if stuff goes their way, other teams drop off, they can move up. They're going to send a lot of teams. They have a combination of experienced anglers and freshman anglers. You know, at the junior college ranks, most of these kids are there for just two or three years, so they haven't had a lot of experience, but they get out throughout the year, they compete, and, they, and they've got good leadership above them in their coaches' roles that have them prepared, and they're gonna make a good run as both will be active and present throughout the spring and at the championship. Looking at teams that can make a big run inside the top five. First one that, that I wanna highlight is going to be Emmanuel College. Lake Hartwell, so we're gonna finish the season. They've got a lot of experience there already this year on their ledger for the Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia at school run events at Lake Hartwell. South Carolina Bass Nation, they got the win last fall. King of the Hill, they got a top five. The PBC later that season, they got a top five. They've got a lot of experience there. They know the fishery. The school isn't too far away. We, we first saw them come to the championship just a few years ago at Lake Murray. So they're familiar with that Georgia, South Carolina area, which Lake Hartwell straddles that border. Expect them to show out and make a good run. They're one that you can't even really necessarily rule out that by the end of the season, they might be in that top three or threatened for the top spot. They've got in the mid 18,000s right now, we're looking at first place as we shoot this is just under 27,000. So they're in that 8,000 point halo where there might be a chance where if they come to the Pickwick Slam, make it to the championship, double dip at some of these other opportunities, there's good upward mobility in the rankings for a team like Emmanuel College, who, by the way, has fished our trail a lot. They've got a lot of experience, good leadership, and their coach there. Look for them to, have a, to have, be a dark horse and have a shot at moving up in those rankings. Last one here as we highlight dark horse candidates as it pertains to the Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia. We know all the major names, Montevallo, Auburn, Adrian, McKendry, they're there every year. They're rotating, they're taking blow for blow each week, first, second, third, fourth, trading shots, and they, they're all right there in the mix. One that's looking to make a move up, Campbellsville University. 
So far this season, they've earned over 7,700 points at the three major college events, which is it accounts for almost a third of their points so far this year. Is right now they've got 21,940. They've made big moves. They're making big strides. They've added other anglers. Drew Gills made the move from Wabash to Campbellsville this year. Combine that with the freshmen that they've brought in and the veteran anglers. Lots of experience. Good leadership as well. You'll see some common commonalities amongst all these teams that they've got a good mix of freshman anglers, leadership amongst the team and in their coaching roles, as well as veteran anglers that have just been out there and done it. You know, we take a look at them, like I said, they've got 7,700 points this spring. They've fished four MLF regular season events to the time of shooting this, so they've got one more they can earn points at to get to their five. They're moving their way up, they're working their way up. I've already seen registrations come in for the Pickwick Slam, so if they're able to send some teams to Pickwick. There's also a Bassmaster College event happening up north. You double dip in those two. There's a chance that a lot of big shakeups are gonna happen over the course of the next several weeks as we wind down in the cycle for the Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia. So that's a look at those highlights, man. Dark horses, teams we're looking at that are back in the standings with a chance to move up. And always, the regular contenders are up there, as we mentioned, in the top couple teams, Montevallo, Auburn, Adrian, McKendry, work your way down, Carson, Newman, Murray, teams that are familiar with finishing inside the top three. They know how to get the job done. They're there year in and year out. There's a lot of threats to look out for and a lot of teams that can make a push to threaten Montevallo and get up there in the top three or maybe even that top spot at season's end. Be sure to go over to our website, collegiatebasschampionship.com. We've got a full list of qualifying events that count towards points as we reach this stretch run with a little over two months left in the Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia. Be on the lookout for more updated standings on that website as well. And as we wrap up this video, go over, hit subscribe. We're gonna have more great content coming, a lake preview for the Pickwick Slam coming up here in just a couple weeks at the 1st of April as that event takes place just a month from now. Thanks for watching this video. Like we said, be sure to subscribe, follow us over on social media. We've got a lot of other great content there as well. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.